Everyone's talking about these free PC tweaking tools that promise to boost your FPS, reduce input lag, and make even low-end PCs run better. Sounds amazing, right? But do they actually work, or are they just wasting your time and cluttering your PC? So in this video, I downloaded the top three most viral free PC tweaking tools like the Chris Titus Utility, the Razer Cortex, and NVIDIA's Optimizer to put them all to the test. I tested them all with FPS benchmarks, input delay benchmarks literally anything you can name I tested it with and after trying all three of these only one of them gave a real benefit some even made my PC worse so let's get straight into it because I'm going to be breaking down what tools are actually worth your time and what's actually just wasting your time let's get straight into it and also we do have a tier list so after every single utility that we use if it makes our frames higher average or even lower we're literally going to be rating it here's Chris Titus here's the Razer Cortex here's the Nvidia app. but first of all what we we need to do is see what our FPS is like with no tweaks involved and super simply we're going to be in a game of Fortnite landing at this exact bridge and just slowly running across it seeing what our frames are so right now we're around 220 to let's say 235 so after our next tweaking utility if we're on more than 235 boys we're doing very good and it's definitely worked and you guys might be thinking Jinchi what are you going to choose for your first one for the first one we're going to be choosing the Nvidia app now, in my opinion, I've actually never used this to optimize any game whatsoever. So right now, it is saying the game is not optimized. And also, by the way, if you guys want to follow along with any of the tweaking utilities, I'll let you know what it called and how to get it. So this one, literally go into Google, search NVIDIA app download, and it should be there. You guys can follow along if you guys want to. So right now, you can see game is not optimized. So obviously, what we do, instead of going over to the quality section, which apparently it says I'm on quality right now, we need to drive it across to performance and now it should optimize it i'm not gonna lie from some of the pre previews you guys already know this is not going to work but i'm still gonna try it anyway let's see what happens when i press the optimize button and simply like that is already done i thought it was gonna take a second or not game is optimized and using custom settings now again same as before let's go on that exact same bridge and run across do i think it's worked boys i do not have high hopes at all okay boys i'm at the same exact bridge and i know you guys are gonna think jinchi you've obviously done something you're obviously joking you're trolling i'm on 100 fps boys if i move my screen i'm not even joking it feels like i'm playing 30 frames a second boys i'm not even joking i still have the nvidia app up as well literally game is optimized and using custom settings i can revert it whenever i want also i did put it onto performance putting it onto performance surely means Means you get better performance in this case boys we've gone down to 90 frames per second let's quickly go back onto our tier list and you guys are probably thinking oh Jinchi, fair enough you're gonna put it in b boys it's not even worth putting it on the tier list how has it made my frames go down about 150 frames that is absolutely ridiculous do i recommend the nvidia app no not at all i do not recommend it to optimize your game at all the only reason you should have the nvidia app is of course to update your drivers that definitely does work and secondly to automatically overclock your pc it definitely does work as well automatic tuning right here on the performance tab super super beneficial for your pc but should you actually go into graphics and optimize it this way no not at all i'm literally going to revert it right now so now we're back to where we were before now moving on to our second utility and boys just before we get into the second utility i want to quickly talk to you guys about the gear up booster this is a ping optimizer that lowers your ping and guess what there is a free trial in the description of my video so if you guys are like me playing 50 plus ping literally download gear up from the description it's free by the way so it's nothing to lose literally load it up just like so and what you have to do is just press boost once you press boost it finds the best dns service to connect to the best Fortnite service to connect to and it will lower your ping so if you have stutters from your ping if you have packet loss make sure you have gear up on in the background and this isn't just for Fortnite, by the way there's league of legends valorant cs2 Fortnite, obviously gta siege literally every game you play it is definitely going to be on here pretty much so make sure you do give it a go in the description down below remember free trial as well so why not 
not. Now, moving on to our next utility, Razor Cortex and Chris Titus. I'm not gonna lie, I know which one you guys want me to choose, but I'm gonna be choosing the Razor Cortex next. Let's see if this can lower my frames, average it out, or make it worse. I'm not gonna lie, before we do anything here, I think the Razer Cortex, in my opinion, is slightly better than the NVIDIA app for optimizing your PC. I'm not 100% sure. I think I used it once a couple months ago, but let's give it a go. So now we're on the Razer Cortex. We're quickly gonna look over the Booster Prime one. I'm pretty sure this is like the NVIDIA app where we can slide the slider across, but there's the predicted FPS of 113. I'm not gonna lie, we don't have 113 frames, we're definitely higher. And if we slide it across the performance, it is saying we're gonna get 200 frames. But one thing about the Razer Cortex that is so good, unlike the Nvidia app, is if we head over to the booster section right here, what we can do is literally tick onto every single one and this page should fully optimize our PC. For example, disable CPU sleep mode. If we just hover on the bottom of it, utilize all CPU cores to make sure the CPU works at 100% performance. Of course I want that, boys. We're gonna tick every single thing on this page, by the way. I'm not even gonna read most of it, but I'm still gonna tick every single one. The only thing I'm not gonna do, actually, is the system clean. This takes way too long to do. The second one, speed up, boys. I'll tick every single one for you guys for this video. And of course, I'll show you the frames once I do it as well. And that is it. Once we've done every single one there, all we have to do, I'm pretty sure, is press boost now, releasing memory, boys. I'll get back to you when this is done. And by the way, boys, that literally stopped everything on my PC. I'm pretty sure you just saw my camera freeze as well. So that's definitely done something. Now again, let's load up Fortnite and see what happens. Okay, boys, we're at the same bridge and you guys might be thinking, Jinchi, why does the thing look different? Uh, boys, I do not know. Razor Cortex did it like this and I cannot change it back. And look at it again. Remember, I think we started around 235 and now we're playing around 200 frames and we're even getting lower boys the Razer Cortex let me down I really did think it did something to my PC there now as for Razer Cortex do I recommend it for you guys still no absolutely not you guys saw it for yourself it lowered my frames is it as bad as the Nvidia app no of course not so obviously I'll put it a tiny bit higher than the Nvidia app but still both of them are absolutely terrible now the last one the moment we've all been waiting for I'm not gonna lie I have such high hopes for this this better increase my frames the Chris Titus utility now now the Chris Titus utility is very different to all the others. It's not technically an app and to get to it we have to go to Windows PowerShell right here, run it as administrator. Now we need a line of code to put into Windows PowerShell, remember make sure it's administrator. To do this go into my Discord server down this description and literally join it, go into the announcements page right here. By the way it's completely free, I don't charge anyone anything like that. Once you're in the announcements page just like so, copy this line of code right here. It says HTTPS. Chris Titus. Don't just copy that, the whole line. Once we do this, control C, minimize our Discord, control V, and enter. Once you enter, you know it's worked. You guys are going to see when it's worked anyway. It will say CTT, literally just like so. It will take a second. And here it is, the Chris Titus utility. And for some of you thinking, Jinchi, you just used the Razor Cortex. Surely you still got the tweaks there. Boys, no, I still don't because I created a restore point just before that. And obviously, I just restored my PC back to the original state it was at the start of this video. So it's completely fair every single one the first thing you want to do when you're on the Chris Titus utility you want to go onto the tweaks channel the essential tweaks just like we did in Razer Cortex I'm gonna take every single one on this page and now I've ticked all the essential ones in my opinion all of the essential ones are completely fine for your PC we can have a quick look at the advanced tweaks and see which ones we should tick and now these are the exact advanced tweaks that I have ticked. Now if you guys want to look at every single one, press on the question mark just like so. It gives you a quick description, read it through, see if you want to tick it. In my opinion, these are kind of good to tick, kind of not good to tick for some PCs. Obviously, you guys got to do your own research for this part. So once I've done the advanced tweaks, once I've done the essential tweaks, I'm going to quickly look at the customized preferences. And to be honest, all the customized preferences are all fine. And if you're thinking, are you going to add the ultimate performance profile? I've already done this before and I'm already on the ultimate profile now all we need to do is literally run the tweaks just like so and to know if it's definitely running we're going to go back onto our powershell right here something's going to happen just like so and you know it's working it'll take about five minutes and now just like that you know it's done when simply it says tweaks are finished now do i think that chris titus utility is going to work i think it is going to work personally but some of you guys really do overrate this utility you guys say it's going to increase my frames by 100 200 300 frames obviously we're going to have a look remember we started at 230 
35 frames. I think now we're going to be around 250, 260 frames. We'll have a look. Okay, boys, we're back at the bridge. And now look at our frames. I'm not going to lie. Remember, at the start of the vids, at the start of the bridge, it was around 220 to 235. Now we're playing around 240 frames. I'm not going to lie. You guys are going to see where I rate this. And you might be a little bit surprised on why. So obviously, we had Razor Cortex making our frames lower. The NVIDIA app boys that was absolutely terrible making our frames below 100 the chris titus tool making our frames around 240 frames where am i gonna put it of course i'm not putting it s tier s tier we're being like 40 50 60 frames plus a tier boys do i think it's an a tier app i'm not even joking i don't even think it's an a tier app i still think it's a complete waste of time to use the chris titus utility now there are a couple utilities out there that definitely work and i will find them for you guys if you guys want me to comment it down below oh jinchi find us a utility that actually work and please do leave a like and please do subscribe but for this video this is how the order goes chris titus utility razor cortex and video app but still out of all of them i would recommend absolutely zero boys if you did enjoy this video please do leave a like please do subscribe and i'll see you guys on further on this week